Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious crab salad. This crab salad right here, it's bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Gina Young salad, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my crab salad before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. When I make crab salad, I love to use the imitation crab meat. Now listen here, you can always use fresh crab meat if you like, but when we make it here at the Young's house, we use the imitation and it is delicious. So you're gonna need some imitation crab meat here, okay? You will need some mayo. So right here, we have some Miracle Whip and I like to mix Miracle Whip with a nice savory mayonnaise. So we also have Hellman's. We have a beautiful tomato here, a nice sweet Vidalia onion, and a green bell pepper. And of course, you're gonna to have to decide what type of noodles you wanna use. So today we're gonna to be using the shells, okay? And we're gonna use about a pound and a half. And you cannot have crab salad without some type of cracker. So we have our favorite cracker here, the club cracker. And you will need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some parsley flakes, garlic powder, pepper, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe. So one of the first things that you wanna do is always make sure when you bring your veggies home, wash them off. Wash off those nasty pesticides, and then again, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. So take that extra step to wash them off when you get home. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in and start to cut up our tomato. You can cut yours in small dice, medium or large dice. It's really up to how you want, you know, your veggies in your salad. So we're gonna do a number just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever tasted crab salad or if crab salad is something that you like to make. I love to make the crab salad, especially when it starts to get a little warm outside because once the weather starts to get nice and warm, I'm always looking for a nice cold salad that we can just, you know, kind of grab out the refrigerator, throw it in a bowl, and possibly sit outside and eat a nice cold salad. And salads are my go-to, like I said, when it's warm outside. I'm gonna get this tomato it's beautiful fresh tomato i'm going to get this tomato right onto our platter that we have here and then we'll get started cutting our onions and our bell peppers just like so time to get started chopping our green bell pepper now any color bell pepper that you have at the house would be just fine i just like to use the green bell pepper when i think about macaroni salad or crab salad it gives such a great flavor. Now, also behind me, I turned on the stove and I have my wok filled with hot water. I salted my water and I want to bring the water up to a boil. Once the water comes up to a boil, we will then throw our noodles in. And the trick that I like to do with the noodles is I like to cook the noodles for only 11 minutes. 11 minutes is gonna give you that perfect texture. It's gonna make the noodle nice and al dente. And what al dente means is it, it means chewy to the tooth, where it's never mushy. That's what I'm looking for. So we will not cook our noodles over 11 minutes. Once the noodles are done, we'll take them over to the sink. We're gonna give them a nice rinse with cold water to stop the cooking process. Okay, everyone, so there's one ingredient I almost forgot to tell you about, which is our eggs. So I have seven eggs in salted water. We're gonna boil them, okay? And then over here I have my boiling water that has been salted. I decided to use just one pound of the shell. 
And what I like to do, I can't stress it enough, to salt the water when you're making rice, you're making noodles or potatoes, give them a nice stir around, 11 minutes, get them nice, beautiful, and al dente. So now that we have our eggs cooking, we have our noodles cooking, and we have started to chop up the veggies, let's get started on this onion. I pray that this onion does not make me cry. I don't want to cry today. <laughs> I don't want to cry. Someone laughed at me in the last time I said that. They said, Gina, I can really see you singing the song, I Don't Want to Cry by Mariah Carey. <laughs> and then she put laughing emojis. <laughs> and then after I read the message, I couldn't stop singing that song. It was so funny. <laughs> That's a good song. <laughs> All right, but that is what happens to me. Anytime I cut on onions, my goodness, they give me a fit. Okay, now, when I make uh, the salad here, I don't wanna use too much onion. You Sometimes you can use too much onion and kinda, you know, overwhelm the situation. Let's not overwhelm it with too much onion. So I feel like I wanna use just that amount, okay? So what we'll do is we'll come across, uh, we'll come across this way and do little tiny pieces, okay? We wanna chop this down nice and fine. No one wants to bite down into a huge piece of onion, if you know what I mean. Now, sometimes you can take away the pungent flavor by setting these in a bowl of ice cold water, and that will work. I find when you do it with the uh, red onions, it doesn't work as well. All right, so that, that's, that's just enough for the pound of the noodles that we're gonna use and really, really take your time to top it down just like so. When I come back, I'll show you what else we'll do next. Our noodles are almost done, so why not take this time to chop down our imitation crab meat. Now listen, let's talk about something really quickly. I know I said in the beginning, if you would like to use fresh crab meat, absolutely you can. Now, I've tried the two. I've tried the imitation crab meat and the fresh, but we tend to always go to the imitation because it has a better flavor with this recipe. Now, what you're gonna get today with this recipe is two recipes in one, because I'm gonna show you how to make my macaroni salad Okay, my macaroni salad recipe is the same recipe without the crab meat. When you add the crab meat, it turns into a crab salad. Okay, so here's what I like to do. This is just, it comes like this. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could do a number like this and break it apart. But why, why go through that? <laughs> just go through it with your knife, just like so. Okay, you might have to go a couple of different directions to break it down. This is what I like to do. Let's see. This is a pound, a, a pound and a half package, and I'm gonna use this package and half of the other package. And the rest that's left, I can just take it out of the package and just eat it just like that. Absolutely. All right, just like this. Now that we have everything nice and chopped up, I'll open the other bag and grab a little bit out of there and I'll chop that down. When I come back, we should be rinsing our noodles off, mixing up our salad. And we have Prince and Polo. We have Prince there on the left and Polo on the right. Say hi, guys. So now we've rinsed our noodles in cold water so they can be nice and cool because you really don't wanna mix this salad up while your noodles are hot. And then you want a chance to rinse off the starch from the noodles. So we've rinsed them off, we've cooled them down. Let's go ahead and start adding, adding our veggies. We got the bell peppers, beautiful tomatoes, and tiny chopped onion. Don't get crazy with the onion. All right, just like so. Beautiful. And now what I want to do is go ahead and add some seasoning now. This is just parsley, and you know, I love the dried parsley. It's really just for color, just to make everything nice and beautiful. We're gonna go in with some garlic powder. Don't you dare be afraid to season. You need the seasoning for it to have a great taste. Okay, let me close my parsley. Then we're gonna go in with some salt, not too much because your loved ones can put their own salt on. That's good. Nice amount of black pepper. You definitely need it, just like so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our rubber spatula, stir everything around, 
just like this. Oh yes. If you want it to, you can put just a little tiny bit of mustard in here if you want it to. This right here is the base of my macaroni salad. Now, I never ever measure when I put the mayonnaise in. I just always make sure I use that sweet miracle whip and then another mayonnaise that's savory, like Duke's mayonnaise, Hellman's, or something like that, okay? So now I have that, and then we're gonna go in with the Miracle Whip. Get you some in there. One thing you don't wanna do when you're making salads like this, you never ever wanna put too much because you don't want it to be too creamy. Yes, you do want the salad to be nice and creamy, right? But not too much. So always start off with a little bit if you're unsure of how much to use, you know? And you can always add to, but if you start off with too much, you can't take away. So be careful, just put a little bit in at a time. And I have the, oh, I'm very happy with how creamy this is. Not too creamy, but creamy enough. And this sound right here, listen to this. Oh yeah, I live for that sound. Okay, so what we're gonna do when I come back, I need to take the eggs off of the stove. We're gonna get the eggs rinsed in cold water, get them peeled up, get them into the salad, put our crab meat in. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. So we've taken our eggs out of the pan and we've rinsed them with cold water. I find that when I rinse my boiled eggs with cold water, it's much easier to peel them. Otherwise, I'm peeling for days and I'm destroying the egg. If I don't, and here's what I do. I like to crack them up against the pan or whatever bowl they're sitting in cold water and they peel with ease. Otherwise, they're a mess. Okay, so here's what we have. The eggs are nice and cool. They're, they're a little warm, but it's okay. Okay, so here's what we have here. This is my macaroni salad. You add the imitation crab meat and you have crab salad, my goodness. And listen here, don't you dare get stingy with the crab meat. Oh, girl, listen here. You want a good recipe. You want something nice and cool and refreshing. This right here is the recipe for you. And I'm gonna be honest with you, my family loves this recipe so much, this will be gone in a day with the three of us. It will, I know, I know, I know, but it will, that's how good it is. You're gonna take a bowl of it, you're gonna finish your bowl, and then you're gonna come back and say, dang, on, I really do want some more. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're gonna do, let's taste it. You have to taste it, and the reason why is you wanna taste it and see what you're feeding to your family and friends and loved ones. You wanna make sure it has that perfect seasoning, and if it doesn't, we're gonna re-season and put whatever we feel like it needs. So go ahead and taste it. Oh, ooh yeah, but listen here, I am gonna be honest with you. It tastes better the longer that it sits. I have a little bit of vegetable there. I got some crab and some noodles, let's see. <laughs> it's good but it does need some seasoning let's go in with the pepper it does need it and a little bit more salt I know I said your loved ones can put salt but still have it seasoned so they don't have to we're gonna skip on the parsley a lot more garlic powder beautiful and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be happy with that. So now here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take our gorgeous egg and I don't wanna chop it up too fine. I wanna do like a number like this. Whenever I put an egg in something, whether it's potato salad, macaroni salad, you wanna have it cut big enough so your loved ones can see what's in the salad and you can taste it. If you cut the egg too small, you know, they can't see what's in it, and sometimes it's hard to taste if it's too, too small of pieces, if you can get what I'm saying. So we're gonna do this just like so. We're gonna give this another taste. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. I'm so excited. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style crab salad, make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer so you all can take a bite. 
Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds <clears throat> in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> we pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. I know you cannot wait. We're not going to wait any further. We won't. I won't keep you waiting. Ah, oh, look at that. You have to have it on the cracker. <laughs> Come on, get on there. <laughs> get on there. I want egg. I want tomato. I want green bell peppers and onions. We want a little bit of everything. All right, here's what we'll do. Two bites. <laughs> do it that way. Come on in and take a bite. Let me know what you think. Oh, yes. And as always, God bless. Good night.